So I decided to add carrot fufu to my list of low carb fufu recipes. Hey, hey, hey. I know you guys will say, Flo, don't carry come again. Make a free meal. I couldn't resist that opportunity to add a bright color to the low carb fufu series. We have white, cream, brown, almost black, and now orange. <laughs> if you have any other vegetable you would want me to fufu lies, please let me know in the comments. I am up for it. Make sure you watch till the end to see me sample this carrot fufu. I'll be using baby carrots for better malleability. Please note that if you're on a keto diet, Carrots are not keto friendly. You can only eat carrots while on maintenance. That is after you have achieved your desired weight. I have more important stuff to say on this. So keep watching with rapt attention. I cut off the shoots and trimmed off some dark spots. No need to scrape them, but if yours are very muddy, scrape them. I grate them first because that way my blender can do a better job of blending them. Then blend with as little water as possible. Pour into a sieve lined with a chiffon cloth. This is supposed to be carrot juice, but you can see that it has oxidized so fast with all that manipulation. I'm not drinking that, I beg. <laughs> Press out all the juice. Add the pulp to a pot and start stirring on low heat. Because I'm using only carrot pulp for this carrot fufu, I'm thinking, thinking oh, that since most of the sweetness is gone with the juice, the carbs, hence sugar, has reduced considerably. Hence, the carrot fufu can safely be enjoyed by even those on a strict low carb diet. Keto experts, expert dietitians and nutritionists in the house, please, what do you think about this my assumption? Since we have removed all this juice from the carrots, where does that leave us in terms of carbs and sugars remaining in the carrot pulp? I found online that carrot pulp contains 1 gram of carbs per 100 grams of carrot pulp, but I don't know if I should trust that source. When it heats up, continue to stir for another 5 minutes. I noticed that it is quite dry, so I added some of the juice. As always, this carrot pulp is not moldable on its own, so I will be using psyllium husk to bind it. Add half a teaspoon of that. Continue mixing for two more minutes or till it forms a moldable dough. Add some more juice. Cover and steam for half a minute. Mix again and it is done. This carrot fufu started out as a test, but it turned out pretty nice and beautiful. I expected it to be sweet, but not at all because all the sweetness went with the water. The only thing that feels weird about it is the color because there's no classic fufu meal that is orange in color.
Yummy. <laughs> Carrot fufu. Ooh. I actually think that Zantan gong will be a better binder for this. It doesn't feel very supple. Yeah, it's moldable, quite alright. But it can be better. So use Zantan gong instead of ceiling husk. Yummy. And it doesn't taste like carrot, eh? You know, because all the sweet taste of carrot has been thrown away. It's in the water. I thought I could use the water to make carrot juice, but that thing oxidized so fast. <laughs> mm. That's why you can't really make carrot juice without a juicer. Yeah, it requires as little manipulation as possible. Maybe I should have added lemon juice, but then it wouldn't be pure carrot juice anymore. When I want to make carrot juice, I just want to make pure, unadulterated carrot juice. Heaven. Bye-bye!